Yeah, it was a good night. Um, you know, historically, for myself individually, for this team, it was a big win for us going into this week. Um, so now we have the games in the schedule. You're, 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 congrats on the streak. I, you, you knew you were coming into this, you know, with the streak uh, possibly coming up. What's your mindset? For that? Just continue to play. You can't really get wound up in that. Um, just play. I had a good game last game. I was aggressive that game. I was aggressive tonight. I was able to see shots fall and, and make plays for everybody. But the focus was just to get it done. You're, 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 you're. Uh, I'm probably always late, you know, honestly. Um, but yeah, I'm just an old school hooper, man. In the summertime, if you come to Atlanta, you can find me at my local, my local gym. There's a neighborhood guy who's playing on the programs. I just love it. You're, you're a pretty uh, modest guy, I think, uh, setting records, history. Does that mean much to you? Yeah, that one does. Um, that one does. It's special, man. Anytime you can say, um, First to do some, or well, not the first, but to, to have of all time next to your name, um, no matter what it is, it's special. So, um, with being a six man and being um, a career bench player and having an opportunity to be um, something that says ever at the end of it, special for me. So, tonight was great. And then, with all those points as a reserve, you, can you not? Think about if you were a starter or play more minutes or what, no, what you might do. Well, no, I've always embraced my role. I've always embraced my role. I think that's what makes it special. You know that that's part of my legacy as well. You know, I'm not a starter. Like I'm, a, I've always like been. a new will. I just took a blue pill. See what I'm saying? <laughs> it's part of my legacy, man. It's part of um, what people are going to remember me for. So you might as well be the best at that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It took some time. It took, it took some time and it kind of took some, some resentment. You know, it's like, if you think that I need to come off the bench, then, you know, I'm going to put you in a position to try to prove you wrong. And I think um, after a while, I was like, this is kind of fun. You know, this is, this is kind of interesting. You know, and you know, over over the years, it's just been, been my makeup. So. As a leader on this team, do you kind of extend that mindset with this team kind of having been doubted to make the playoffs and now you guys are? Yeah, you know what? Um, we just, I wouldn't say we have a chip on our shoulder, you know, because we don't play angry. Um, we play happy, we play free. Um, we play together, we laugh, and we have a good time out there on the floor. But we have a lot of a lot of guys that's in this room that try to prove their names every night um, with whatever they bring to the table, and it works for us. Um, probably, um, it probably took a season um, with just with just how everything was going um, early on in my career. I just, you know, when you're young and you don't play your first two years, uh, and then you start, and then you come off the bench, you start, and then you have that consistent minutes, and then you get consistent minutes coming off the bench. You figure, you know, you might as well be the best at that. So early on in my career. <laughs> I don't even know which when I did it, honestly. I, I honestly couldn't tell you when I did it. Um, I knew by the time I checked out the game that I had it because of because Pat was saying congratulations, but I don't even know what point it was. The whole bench jumped up when you did it. Yeah, so no, I didn't notice that. I think I was still cooking after that. <laughs> but when I came over, Pat was like, congratulations. And that was it for me. Lou, how does this rank, in, obviously in your career, being, you know, scoring the most points on Individually, it's high. It's high up there. You know, like I said, um, you have Jamal Crawford and, you know, other guys that come off the bench, and that's part of um, who they are, and, and Dale Curry and all of those guys, you know, it's part of their legacies, you know. So um, I've been... Jamal and I have been uh, put next to each other for the last four or five years of our careers just with either Jamal or Lou, either Jamal or Lou. So to have this one under my belt, it means a lot. Lou, how high do you want to set the bar for most points to off the bench? I don't know. I'm just going out and play, man. I, I, but I'm going to try to put it out of reach for sure. You know, cause, <laughs> you know, Jamal is still active, you know. You know he's still active, so who knows who know what he's capable of. So I'm going to try to put it out of reach for sure. You're going to talk to him to sort of slow down on that? Nah, man. You know, we're competitive people. I hope he can go out, you know, and not only that, he's somebody I look up to, so I want him to go out and play the best basketball he can. Um, and I go out and play the best, best basketball I can with whatever opportunities present.
Did that help because he's so close on your heels? No, nah, competitive. No, nah, it's it's fun. It's, it's all fun and games. You know, we we have a very good relationship. You know, and like I say, he's somebody I look up to, somebody that's that's been like a mentor to me. Every time I run into him, he has positive words for me. So. Yeah, my mom came in last minute. Uh, my cousins came in last minute. Um, so it was good to see them. I wish my kids could be here, but they have school, so priorities are priorities. How, how do you how do you celebrate this with your family? What do you guys do? I'm going to sleep, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, honestly, you know, we got another game tomorrow and then a day off, so probably tomorrow we'll probably do something, have dinner or something. Yeah. When did you find out that you were close to the record on the pass? Um, I think uh, yesterday or this morning sometime. Um, I knew I had passed Jamal, um, and so after that is probably when I'm going to start coming up a little bit. All right, thanks, guys.